So today I've just been having a little bit of fun with the digital collection that I downloaded from Dear Lizzie Napolitan Collection off of acdigitals.com. And I just wanted to show how easy it is to make your own um, your own Project Life cards. Let me show you what I've done in my library over here. Here I have my library and here's my Dear Lizzie collection. Now all of these elements are the ones that I have downloaded from acdigitals.com. And then I started making my own Project Life cards. And what I did is I just saved them right into my library so that I don't have to make them again. All I have to do is drop them right onto my mat and then I'm able to cut and print my own Project Life cards as often as I want or as I need them without having to redesign them every single time. So for example, some of these mason jars, they were just individual elements. Let me show you in this section here. See here, there's a mason jar, has a little bit of a background to it. So does that one. And then there's a couple of other mason jars that are all by themselves in this section here. There they are. See that one is all by itself as well as that one. So all I did was import them into um, the little Project Life cards that I made, and then they make the perfect sized cards. So I'll show you how to make that real quick. So we'll go to my existing file. This is three of them that I've already made. What I do is I go into Show Library, and I have already saved a 4x3 Vertical Project Life card. If you'd like that free download, Feel free to go see my blog and you can download these basic files for free in order to have that rectangle already drawn for you. So I double click on that and it drops it right into my page. Now the element that I want to use is actually quite a bit smaller than this journaling card. So I'm not going to select the journaling card. I'm just going to leave it unselected and go back to show library and I'm going to go find that design that I want. It was a little saying, so it's probably under journaling cards and tags. And let's see if we can find it really quickly. Here it is. You make my heart sing. So I'll double click on that and it just drops it right in here. Now you'll notice for some reason, even though I just dropped it right into my file, this little yellow low resolution triangle warning came up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down to make it smaller until that triangle doesn't show anymore. Okay, so now it went away. All right. So now I know that's the size. This is going to be on the front of that card, so I'm going to say bring to front. Now this is going to be the background. So I'm going to double click and make sure the dimensions show. When the dimensions show, I'll go into open the fill pattern window and I'll scroll down to where I have my papers saved. So that's the AC or the AC Digital's Dear Lizzie Neapolitan Collection. And I have several different orange files here. I think this is the one that I liked. It has the polka dot on it. So now I'm going to move this on top of here and I'll have my file. First thing I want to do is make sure it's centered. So I'm going to make sure both items are selected and open the Align window and Center. And now my little sentiment is perfectly centered inside of this card. So now I have a perfect little card that can fit into Project Life. Now say I want to save that into my library so I don't have to make it over and over again. Well, you'll want to make sure that you don't have anything else in that file. It needs to be completely blank with that being the only element that's left. So now that it is, I'm going to go over here and make sure that everything is grouped. 
we want to click group that way everything moves together only as one element then I'll click file save to library and this is where I'll name it it's three inches by four inches tall and let's see what was the theme of this one oops three by four make heart sing and this one's American Crafts, Dear Lizzie, Neapolitan. Now this one is a print and cut file. And click OK. Now when I go to Show Library, you'll see it's right here in my own designs. But I don't want to keep it there since I already have a section for the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan collection. So I'm going to click and drag and take it to my Project Life cards. So now there's my new little card that I just made. So I never have to make it again. I can just pull it into any project that I want. So say now you want to print your Project Life cards. Go back to your project and I have that one still in there. Let me zoom in a little bit better for you. There we go. So I'm going to move this. You'll see that my page is 8.5 by 11. And I also did my registration marks. Those can be found over here. And I clicked Show Registration Marks. So I have this one journaling card. I can fit four of those on this page. So I'm going to click on a few more that have some cute sayings that I liked, that I've already pre-designed. Okay, so there's everything. Now they're ready to print and then cut with my Silhouette Cameo. And I'll show you the results here in one moment.